Hello Aries, thank you for joining me on Angel Works Phil and Tim. My name is Gladys and we're starting your Christmas tree message. We're going to start off with, with what's on the foundation, the tree trunk. I hope you guys enjoyed this message and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we're going to get started with what is at the tree trunk, the current situation. If you guys have not seen part one, two or three of this message, go check it out. Uh, did part one as Aries, part two as the cusp, and part three as the cusp of Pisces, Aries, and Aries, Taurus. Go check those out. The Pisces, Aries one was a really good one, if you guys want to check out, and the Aries one as well. As for the Aries, Taurus, it's talking about a new beginning. Your first question is going to be on how do you handle the strong emotions that you're feeling at this time. The second question is going to be to what extent are you a victim of your own feelings? You need to be honest with yourself about your feelings. And on the third question, we're going to be asking on how we can move forward to reflect the action that we took on as our feelings. Try to focus on what went well today when you're listening to this and where do you need from this point on to grow and what will you do forward to build on your strengths and weaknesses to become a better version of yourself. And then this is going to be you, and this is going to be your person. You pick which side resonates to you the most. And, of course, with the top of the star of the tree, the star is going to be the message from the divine universal wisdom to reflect on. We're going to be clarifying all the cards, and if any people show up, we'll clarify them with the people deck that I use. And I do clarify specific cards that show up with specific decks. So stick it all the way out to the end so you can kind of see what the overall way of me doing messages on here if you've never been on here before and check out the whole playlist guys and I hope you guys enjoy happy holidays your foundation the hermit dealing with a Virgo a lot of you are going within you're healing at this time you may have been dealing with a Virgo that may have caused you to go within and make you be in your feelings why is the hermit showing up here why is the hermit showing up here for the Aries people? Okay, there was a cup of love that came in. This is the Page of Cups. And then we also have the Nine of Wands. The Cup of Love caused burdens in this situation. And this is my bonus card. My bonus card means I pick from the top, bottom, and the middle. Every time I get a bonus card. Seven of Wands. Someone stood their ground about a situation, about passion. Wanting an equal give and take. The Six of Pentacles comes in. And the truth was known. Someone was truthful. They're cutting away what's not truthful. We do have a clarifier for all the aces that show up. Why is the ace showing up here? Okay, that was quick. Our ace message is the miracle of forgiveness. Archangel Jermiel. Thank you, Jermiel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Somebody here needs to process on how to forgive. Learn how to forgive. Give it to the universe. Give it to the angels. Someone is wanting the truth in the situation. They figured out something about someone. About how someone may have caused a relationship burden. They may have been given their cup to multiple people, causing some burdens in this relationship. And there was another person, the other side of this is that the other person was a faithful person and was only out for one person, not looking at other options. Somebody kept their options open and it caused burdens and somebody didn't. And someone's forgiving this person for either op uh, having multiple options Or they are the ones that's asking to be forgiven for not realizing what they had with the Aries people, the Aries person. I feel like some of you are away from this person at this time because you are at a time of solitude and on reflection. 
And this person could be thinking deeply of all the mistakes, all the burdens that it has caused. And they're trying to find it, find a way to come forward. It's hard for this person to come forward and forgive, ask for forgiveness in this situation. The question that we need to be asking is how do I handle my strong emotions at this time? The death card comes in, guys. This is a change, endings, beginnings, transitions that's going on. Like I said, a lot of you are going, probably going through a new transition. A new way of being. Spirit, guys, angels, divine. Why is the death card here for Aries people watching this? A lot of you see where you have to transform a situation. There's going to have to be a major rehaul, a rebirth of sorts. It can't go back to the old ways of being. You want something that is going to be different. You, If you still have emotions for this person, you want this person to come forth in a different way of being from the past. The two of wands going down a different path. Choosing a different direction. Yes. Wanting a new beginning, like I said. Aw. Uh, and Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is wanting a new stable beginning with someone. Wanting a redo, a rebirth of some situation. Going down a different direction. A different path. With the Ace... For the ace being here, what's our special message for the ace being here? You guys got two messages. Your first message is feel. I don't know if I say these angel names right. We're going to read out of the book what the message is. With this, it says, allow yourself to be cleansed of all that is no longer serving you in preparation for growth and renewal. If you are contemplating a detox or a lifestyle change, this card is a validation. You are on the right path. You guys are choosing the right path. Even though it may be very uh, emotional at this time and you may have a lot of deep emotions and torn about the situation. Your other message is Shekinah. Angel number 39. This angel says, Awaken, my daughters, now you are free. Awaken, my daughters, now you shall see. Awaken, my daughters, now you can be. As mighty, as powerful, as magnificent as me, this angel lives within you. I can't say the angel's name, but... Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, that was for the Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, special message. What is the Ace of Pentacles special message? message thank you i am fertile and flowful i release all stagnation and depression i move and choose gracefully i am spiraling outward full of growth and love this is the feminine energy fertility flow and healing like i said a lot of you need to do some healing at this time and go within Now, what is attached to the death card, the transformation, is balance. Yes, you're having a rebirth because you're wanting a, a, a balance of an equal give and take in a relationship. You want compromise. You want self-control and moderation. Spirit, guys, angels, and bomb, what else do we need to know about the... 14th being here. Okay, we got the six of pentacles. Wanting that equal give and take, that balance. The five of cups. But there's regret and remorse in the situation of taking somebody up on their offer. Someone here may have gave more than the other. And somebody here is feeling remorse and regret for the wrongdoings in the situation. Because it caused heartache. This is why there's healing. Because somebody is emotionally hurt about everything that's went on what is our healing message for the three of swords spirit guides thank you compassion 
When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings at this time. And we're going to get a healing message here. Spirit guys, you guys got some healing messages flying out. Spiritual growth. It's time to be into spirit more. Start loving yourself. Learn more about spirit. Get more spiritual and serenity. Make your place a sanctuary. Go within. I will put at the end of the video. I made videos for these two cards. So I'll put them at the end of the video link. And you guys can get more information about that. But a lot of you are having time to find it within to heal in this situation. Spirit guides, angels of mine, we're going to get one more healing message. Well, actually, we're going to get two more. I just felt led to get two more. I'm going to get that one. And this one. Spirit guides, angels of mine, what else do we know to heal? This broken heart, this heartache that we're going through, this pain. We were only supposed to get one, but three popped out. This says, Organic Foods. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desires to consume and use organic products. A lot of you need to start eating more healthier in this situation, because when you eat unhealthy, it just brings you down. Your energy levels go down, and you just feel more depressed and stuff. But when you start eating healthier... You'll get more energetic and you'll start wanting to be more positive in this situation. Unconditional joy. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. Be thankful for what is going that's good right now at this moment that's not upsetting and sad. Ask your body for a message. Dear body, please help me hear your message. Archangel Raphael, please guide me in honoring and respecting my body's needs a lot of you are having to heal your body because where you've been so heartbroken and been devastated depressed and sad you've been staying in the dark you've not been eating healthy and stuff you you're getting breakouts you're just being a, in a stage where you're not healthy at this time and you need to recognize what is not healthy that's going on in your body and balance this out and try to drink a lot more water try to Figure out what you can take that is going to help you in your health aspect to be healthier. Pray about it a lot more. Focus on yourself. Have compassion for yourself, guys. Your last message is past life issue. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Don't bring up past issues. You could be dealing with somebody that is from a past life. This could be a past life relationship that comes back in this lifetime to learn lessons. And maybe you're not, you or your partner is not to the level where you're going to meet on the same page at this time. You may have to learn lessons in order to meet up again in a near future time and be together in the right way. Now, with all this being said on here, and how are we going to handle our strong emotions at this time? Don't expect the pieces to line up as you want them to. Stop trying to control everything at this time. Refrain bad feelings as invitations to grow. Feel your feelings. Know what you're feeling. Stop blaming others for this situation. What, what caused this? Be grateful for everyone that's around you that's being positive, that is looking out for your own good that is telling you things you don't want to hear your loved ones could be saying that somebody's not health not good for you but you don't want to hear it because you you want them to you want them to feel positive toward the person that you really have feelings for deep emotions for you also want to own up to your own darkness your own everyone has a dark side to them and the dark side could be that you jump the gun you automatically assume something and it causes misunderstandings and you go into a different direction and it causes drama or this could be this person causing miscommunication and it causes you to believe one way 
you you need to figure out what it is that makes you be in your own darkness if there's an unhealthy aspect in the relationship if you're taking in toxic things it's causing you to break out you need to look at that look what you're putting within your body and not just by drinking it or eating it by also in the form of the people that you have around you what you see and hear that kind of intake as well and the intake of what you smell all your senses open your senses up to see of what you see on a daily basis is it all negative stuff are you watching negative things on tv are you hearing negative thoughts and hearing negative words all day long try to be more positive and get away from that aspect on the second question to what extent are you a victim to your own feelings you got to be honest with yourself about this let's see what is going on with this this is the page of swords somebody here is they have their it's about thoughtfulness clarity curiosity restlessness this person could be a person that is younger than you than you they do like to communicate and they could be harsh with their words when they communicate they could also be a person that is older than you and is a person that doesn't know how to hold their tongue that is harsh with their words that say things that may be taken the wrong way they may jump the gun and be really harsh with the words and not mean what they say they just run their mouth what comes with that is the five of swords this person tries to win at all costs they're crude and mean they could be cheating they could be lying they get caught doing this they think that they're not getting caught but they are because somebody turns their back and walks away on the five of swords the five of wands they cause drama and conflict they throw things they break things they get mad they have anger issues very bad anger issues the nine of pentacles comes in and that that could indicate that they could be selfish they dress well or they cause someone that has worth self-worth has morals and respect for themselves to walk away this person may be independent and they have their own finances and they take care of themselves so someone here is causing conflict with someone that may want stability, that doesn't want to fight and argue and doesn't want to win. I feel like somebody here may be a person that could have earth and air in their birth chart, be on the cusp of earth air. But this person wants their way. It's like their way or the highway. Well, I don't know if the right person is listening to this, but always remember that the highway is not a one-way street. It's got two lanes. So either you ride in the same car with them, or you stay in your lane, and I'll stay in mine. You know, let that person know that if I'm willing to ride with you, you're compromising. But if I'm not willing to ride with you and I have to ride in my own vehicle, then you stay in your lane, I'll stay in mine. But this person... It seems like if you ride in the car with them, it's their way or, or the highway. It's whatever they want. It's their rules. They they want whatever they want. They're selfish. They're all about themselves. The king of fire comes in. So this knight is dealing with the king. The king knows their worth. They're inspirational. They're charismatic. They're innovative. This king here is very passionate and loving and loyal. And they're fed up with this childlike behavior. And they don't want to put up with somebody that's going to be childish immature that is only for themselves and this king of fire will take action and go into a different direction they'll get in their own car and go somewhere else and get away from this conflict and the drama because they don't want fighting and quarreling and just just romance here and there with whoever and expects you to be waiting at home for them that's not the way relationships work this person could be very passionate. They've had a lot of relationships that's been conflicting, that's not been stable, and they're looking for stability in this situation. Here's the Four of Swords. They're having to have time to heal in this situation. They're taking a break from this conflict, this fighting, this being entrapped in their head. They could be keeping their finances to themselves. We got the bonus card, so that means I have to pick the middle and the top and the bottom 
you guys can make bonus cards in your decks. Just take the extra deck, extra cards that come in the decks. And when you draw these cards, you can ask on some of these cards, I write on there specific things of what to do. On some, I don't. If I draw it, that means I get to pick from the top, bottom, and middle from where the deck is. And sometimes I'll write down, pick two oracle cards, pick one angel card, pick more from this deck. What You can write whatever you want on these bonus cards. Now, what comes with this bonus card is the Nine of Cups. Somebody was very in love, very deep. They know what they want. They, they love themselves. They have respect for themselves. They know their value, their worth. And they had some burdens put upon them because somebody put in more work than the other person. And we got the other bonus card come out. Oh, well, actually, that was in the wrong deck. So, I guess it was meant like this for it to be like this. Because that one goes to that deck. I got the deck mixed up, mixed up somehow. And the okay, I don't know how this happened. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the King of Fire. Why is the King of Fire showing up here for the Aries people? Thank you. You guys got the King of Swords. This King is very witty and smart, very romantic, very loyal, very loving. They've been through a lot of relationships and they're being very methodical and they're playing things out. They know how to hold their tongue when they speak. But this king is not messing around. They'll cut you sharp. This is three cups coming in. The three of cups is celebration. This king knows what they want to have a celebration. They don't want to have a third party situation. They'll cut that off. And they're being blinded to something. Blindsided to a situation. They don't see they didn't see something coming. Somebody don't see something coming in a situation. And they get cut off. They cut the blindfolds off. Spirit lets them see something for the way something really is, and it gets exposed. Why is the king? Wait, right, we're going to get clarifiers for the knot. I mean, the page. Why is the page here, Spirit Guides, Angels of Mine? Why is the page showing up here? Thank you. The page is showing up here because they are heartbroken or they've caused heartache. They are still holding on to something that happened to them in the past and they can't heal a heartache that caused them to have this coldish way of being, being aloof, not wanting to be in a commitment. They don't trust love. They've been hurt too much. Then we have the Eight of Wands coming in. There's communication coming in about this heartache, about somebody's heart hurting, and they're reflecting on all the mistakes that has occurred in this situation. With this person. What is the healing message? Spirit guys, initials, and bond. We have diversity. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You are a special and much loved. Realize that everybody is a unique person. And that you are loved for the way you are. Whoever this harsh person is. Somebody loves this person unconditionally. They see their flaws, and they're willing to work with them and heal and have a, a true bond, a true love that's not harsh and mean and cruel and hard. Freedom. Set yourself free from this heartache, from these burdens that you had to learn from people that done you wrong in the past. There is signs, synchronicities. There's signs. The spirit is trying to show you that this person, that spirit is bringing this person to you. When I see the word signs, I have a special deck for the signs. What else do we need to know about the signs being here, spirit guides, angels, divine? 
What else did we know about the signs? What other messages? Thank you. Rose. Charming, romantic proposal and apologies on their way. Is on your way. Healing stone. Balance and alignment. You need to heal. Tennis ball. Competition, games, and foolery. Somebody here was playing mind games, was not being real. And now that someone may have walked away from a situation, the spirit gave them the sign that they needed to get away from this kind of person, this person that was being foolish, that person wakes up. And they're realizing that they may have lost somebody that they could have had a real good bond with, that they had a lot in common with. If you are listening to this and you're the person that caused someone to turn their back toward you and you were doing the wrong, this is your chance to charm them. You need to heal past situations in order to make this relationship work at this time. You can't be bringing old past baggage into this relationship you've got to release it you got to cut it off cut it away and bring in the right kind of relationship with this person without drama being involved now we're going to get a clarifier for this king of wands and the king of swords spirit guides angels and divine why is the king of wands here why is the king of wands showing up here spirit guides angels and divine Thank you. With the King of Wands, we have somebody here showing up as not wanting to take somebody's offer. Contemplating if they should take this offer because they've already had three bad cups by this person. And here's the Hermit card showing back up. Somebody's in their head. They're being spiritually awakened to a situation, to their own actions. This person's afraid to offer somebody something now because they know that they've caused some bad hurts and they're afraid that this person may say no and they're trying to figure out how they're going to approach this person to have a reconciliation and they're realizing that something's going to have to change they can't keep doing the same old things same old habits to make this work something's going to have to drastically die off somebody's going to have to bury something in the ground die an old way of being and transform themselves majorly in this situation What's going on with the King of Swords being here, Spirit Guides? Angels and Divine, thank you. With the King of Swords, we have this person wanting to have stability, working on themselves, working a lot more, trying to make ends meet, pay the bills, taking charge of the situation, being an emperor, looking for their empress, and going to be victorious in this situation because they know what they want, they know their self-worth, and they respect themselves enough to turn their back to anybody that doesn't want to do stability with them that doesn't want to do an equal give and take they're planning something they're planning to go to have victory with you and move forward with you or you're planning on moving forward to have victory with someone else you realize there there is different types of people in the world and you never even fathomed or this person never even fathomed that you could have been the one for them it was like it was a, a rude awakening to this person of how childlike they were being or immature. But this person that you fall for or they fall for you is a type that they never really saw falling for. That that would be the type of person that they would fall for. Now, with the third question, how can you move forward on the reflection of the action that was taken in this relationship, in this situation? What went well today? The word do we all need to grow to make it to become a better version of ourselves and what will we do to build on our strengths and weaknesses moving forward at this time the hierophant wow spirituality get into spirituality more do traditions you're being guided this is orthodox this is intuition somebody here is being spiritually guided to go down a certain path a certain direction a certain way we do have a hierophant deck clarifier decks so i'll be pulling a hierophant clarifier in a minute spirit guides angels and divine what else do we know about this hierophant being here we are being led to be more spiritual to be more positive to watch things that are spiritual to listen to spirituality music 
just to get into more spirituality stuff, guys, so that we we can be in a higher level at our stage of our life and bring in that right kind of person. We have the Ten of Cups, and that will cause us to have a fulfilling, happy, joyous bond within ourselves. The Three of Cups. It will be time for celebration in the situation. And the Nine of Cups. Our wishes are coming true because we're loving ourselves. We walk toward our love of ourselves. We walk toward the love of of our life by loving ourselves first and walking away from people that don't value us and love us the way they should. Spirit guys and angels divine, what is our hierophant message that you want us to know? Thank you. Our hierophant message is all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. You got to say a prayer, guys. Keep praying about this situation and heal. Pray about asking God to help you not have so much strong emotion toward this person so that you can move forward and heal. Yes, there's five of water here. Disappointment, regret, and forgiveness. And we need to get into prayer because we're too deep in our emotions and being upset and depressed about this situation to not see that spirit is there for us. What is our clarification for the five of water being here? Somebody feeling remorse, regret, not seeing spirit, not being spiritually awakened at this time. This could be the other person that you're dealing with that is not into spirit. Spirit guides, angels, and divine. Thank you. Yes, this person is cutting away the cords. Getting down to the bottom of the truth of the situation. The Ten of Pentacles comes in. They see that somebody cut away a stable relationship, a bond that had stability with someone that was a player, that was playing them for a fool, that was in and out, that wasn't sure about the relationship. One minute they wanted to be with you, the next minute they didn't. Spirit Guides, Angels, Divine, what is the... Ace of Swords message that you have for us. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. There's the signs word again. And today, on this day that I'm making this message, I do daily angel messages. And that's the message that I drew for today. The angel message was synchronicity. I will try to post that at the end of this message. Check that message out as well, guys, so you can get some more positive input in your life. With the signs and symbols, the word sign showed up, so we're getting more messages here. Volcano, eruption, tower moment. There was a tower moment that occurred that's causing you to stay upset and sad and, and being depressed at this time. Car race, reckless, impulsive, immature, wild. Somebody here was being reckless and impulsive at, with their behaviors, and it caused somebody else to mirror this, it, this situation, and they just took off. They were like, well, if this person wants to be reckless and just run off and not tell me where they're going, then I'll leave. And it caused a tower moment. Tree of life. Karma opportunity. You could have been dealing with a karmic situation. This could be a karmic soulmate that you're dealing with this time. Time will only tell. Keep, it, keep praying. Give it to the universe. And you will see the light if this was a karmic situation. Now, for your person or you, the way you're feeling, Eight of Swords, feeling entrapped and stuck in your head. There's isolation, imprisonment, disappointment. Like I was saying earlier, somebody here, it feels like they're stuck in their head about the situation trap. They, they don't know what to do. They are having mental entrapment, mental thoughts. Staying stuck in their head, overthinking, overanalyzing situations, and not getting over the past, bringing up the past too much. And it, when you try to build a future, you're not building 
the past, you're building a future. And you've got to leave the past in the past. The past belongs in the past where it belongs. And you learn lessons from the past and move forward in the future by learning from your past. Not by building a future with the past. You are building a future from the past. Past behaviors. And letting past things go. And growing and evolving and becoming a better version of yourself. The Ten of Wands. There's burdens that need to be let go of. Five of Cups. That That's that depressed stage. Feeling regret and remorse for all this stuff that went on. Here's the, the bonus card. The Nine of Wands. Having one more wand and the burdens are released. If I hear the burdens are released, but it could be that you release the burdens and your partner has not yet. Somebody here still wants to be single. They want to have their cake and icing too. And it could be the Queen of Cups that you're dealing with. And the Two of Pentacles. This person is juggling their emotions. They're back and forth. They're indecisive. They're not sure what they want in a relationship. If they want to commit or not. If they want to keep their options open. Why is the Queen of Cups showing up here? Spirit Guides, Angels, and Divine. Have faith in the situation. The hair print shows back up. Somebody here has legit feelings for someone very deep emotions and they're not wanting to have a person in their life that's going to juggle them back and forth that doesn't keep them as their priority that keeps them as an option the six of cups they keep reminiscing of the past of a past choice that they made and it caused burdens but it's spirit is saying it's time to let this go that was the past learn from it and let it go you can move on now Spirit is strongly in this message, guys. We need to stay into spirit, keep doing spiritual things to keep our mind off of this heartache of what this person has done to us that's caused us to feel like we were not worthy to be with them, like we weren't good enough. We are good enough for somebody, and spirit will bring that right person to us when we start loving ourselves. This says, nothing shall be impossible unto you. You've got to take that action and move forward in this situation. You've got to cut the cord yourself. To cut that blindfold off yourself. And own up to the feelings like I was saying. Own up to the reality of the facts. That the facts are maybe this person, you have deep emotions for them. But maybe they were not the one for you. Maybe this is not the divine partner that the divine is trying to give to you. Maybe you were a catalyst in this person's life or they're a catalyst in yours. But regardless, this person has taught us how to become a stronger person and how to become a better version of, our, of ourselves and how we want to treat others. The Three of Air shows up here that this is the Three of Swords. Like I was saying, a lot of you are still feeling remorse, regret, sadness for not being with this person. You really thought this was your one. And you need to let this go. You need to try to find something to do, a hobby, some kind of thing that you can do that makes you release this sadness this this feeling that you have within that is not letting you go of the sadness that you have let's get a healing angel message for this i feel your pain guys i've been through that situation before and if i can do it anybody that's watching this if you're going through this kind of pain i understand where you're coming from and it's hard and it's time to just let go and try to focus on doing something that you love to do that keeps your mind off this heartache and start loving yourself more start dolling yourself up start getting outside a little bit more start getting out in the world and and learning something new like i said learn something new here's the study card that comes out for you guys it is time to learn something new Focus on something that you're going to love to do to heal in this situation. What else do we need to know? What other healing message do we need? Here, guys, thank you. Our other message is transformation. Through the great love that holds you in its embrace, you are moment by moment transforming to every greater light, every greater oneness, and every greater wisdom. There is a major rehaul transformation that you're doing in your life. If this person shows back up in your life, you're going to be standing up 
for what you believe in and you're going to have standards you're going to tell them this is how it's got to be and if they don't want to meet you to your standards then maybe you've leveled up in a situation and they have not and it's time for you to move on what the other person is feeling this could be you or your other person the other person is the queen of pentacles earth sign prosperity pleasure motherly security this person is loving themselves they're all about themselves about the money the stability in the situation we have the six of cups coming in they're always stuck in their head thinking about the past not letting it go Rem reminiscing about who their one was who they thought their one was they could have offered something to somebody thinking that they were meant to be with that person and it may have not worked out all along in the past they could have had two choices and they were thinking one person was their one when it was the other choice and it didn't work out with that person and they wind up having a rebound with the second person and realizing that the second person should have been the one that they offered this to and that's where they're having that remorse and regret and seeing that they chose the wrong person but they could have been in a state of mind where they were not in a clear state of mind they could have been intoxicated or under the influence of something that caused them to see something differently it could have been that they were stuck in a karmic situation that they were all all they were about with this other person was karmically heat relations with this person intimate relations with this person the nine of wands but they see that there was burdens upon the person that they were divinely guided to be with they were not spiritually awakened at this time that's what i'm picking up with this This person is in their head now about it, upset, having sleepless nights, regret, remorse, uh, and just not getting out of their head about the past situations, about what happened in the past, what led up to this, to this breakup. Yep, here's five of cups, having remorse and regret, sleepless nights, the six of pentacles, about giving... To one person and not giving to the other giving to the wrong person and being a play like a fool being the player in the situation they thought that they could be a player and have multiple options have their options open and now they're wishing that they didn't behave in that kind of manner because they're wanting a stable relationship with someone that's going to always have their back and they've done somebody wrong and it caused that other person that was doing them right to walk away and now they're stuck in their head and they, they don't know what to do how to move forward in this situation how to heal it because there's a lot of healing that needs to go on in this reading but i feel like spirit is trying to tell us that we just need to give it to spirit and move forward in the situation by healing our own feelings understanding our own feelings in the situation and understanding that the person has to process their own feelings and come forward. If, if it's meant to be, they will have a spiritual awakening and they'll come toward us in the right way. Or the, the divine will see that we are doing what's right in healing ourselves. And the divine will place that right person in our life when we're ready and healed. And by the time that this person may heal and ready to come to offer something, it may be too late. And then they will have learned a big lesson, karmic lesson, a karmically soul lesson. Now our main focus at the universe wisdom to reflect on that we need to be focusing on is wow, the Hierophant guys, like I said, spirituality, being into spirit. We need to be into our spirit more. Spirit guides, angels, and divine spirit is trying to tell us that we just need to focus on doing positive things in our life and trying every time we think of something that causes us to feel upset about this situation to try to go into a different direction start doing something else to get our mind off of this sadness and pray if we need to pray all the whole day if we have to pray at any time at any given time anywhere in the day you can pray multiple times you can pray more than once Spirit, angels, and divine, what is the message that you have for us, the people watching us? Thank you. There's your message.
go down a different path, a different direction. Choose to go down the path with spirit. Be independent and be alone. Don't be a joker. Don't be a fool. Don't be played like it, a fool. Stand your ground. Show your worth. You're this, this person that knows what they want. And they're going to speak their ground. And they're going to say, you can either go down this path with me. Or I'll just go alone. Because I know what how I should be treated. I'm not going to be treated like, like I'm dirt. Like I'm trash. And then next minute, you're like, oh, I'm sorry. And you're bringing me roses and trying to heal a situation. After you threw a tennis ball and hit me in the head with it. And now you want to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's some roses. Let's heal the situation. I'm tired of the conflict. I'm tired of the fighting and throwing stuff and causing drama all the time. You're staying in your, in your truth. And you're, you've got spirit backing you up. This says clearing debates. Your self-care involves removing the healthy burden of financial and emotional debt from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. So a lot of you could be in like financial debt. You need to focus, put your focus on working more and trying to get out of this financial debt. And once you start paying off debt and you're one bill free and you're caught up on your bills, it starts making you feel better about yourself and makes you a better version of yourself because you're, you're doing what's right in your life and you're not always trying to borrow from Peter to pay Paul. You're not always having to skip a bill to pay another bill. You're not struggling financially. So put your focus on working multiple jobs or doing something to, to make your income increase and to clear this debt that is caused by this relationship. This relationship could have drained you financially. You could have been spending money that where you didn't need to be spending money and it causes you to get into debt and now you're upset and sad because now you don't have the finances that, to paid the debt off you could have been with somebody that had finances but they were spending your finances or they were put they were putting things in your name and causing you to have debt in your name and then now they're they're not here no more and now you have to pay this debt and you can't afford to pay it but you can afford to pay it you just need to get yourself up and out of this depression stage and go find a job and try to do whatever steps you have to do to clean yourself up. Detox yourself. And I was trying to see right here where it was saying clean your body from toxins and stuff. If you have to, to get a job and clean yourself, detox yourself. Drink a lot of water. Get more healthier so that you can get this job that you need so you can bring in some finances. Focus on doing creative hobbies if you don't have a job at this time or if you do have a job when you're not working. Find something to do that is creative in the aspect of creativity that you enjoy doing and do it while listening to spirituality music or do it while listening to seminars, preachers speaking, whatever it is that you find that is spiritual to you. Spend time listen to more positive spiritual videos music you don't have to watch them you can listen to them while you're doing your activity but spend that time that you love within yourself to make a better version of yourself guys and start bringing income coming in focus on trying to do something to bring that income coming in since that tower came down hey guys i'm going to do the breakdown of the zodiac signs for the main cards that i pulled our message That'll be these cards. But I don't do it to all the messages because it takes time. But with the Hierophant card, it is the fifth card in the Tarot deck. And the fifth card in Major Arcana, and that's a yes. With the Eight of Swords, this is the 57th card in the Tarot deck. And this is the eighth card in the Sword family, and it's a no to me. With the Death card, it's the 13th card in the Major Arcana, and in the deck, and that's a no. 
with the Queen of Pentacles. She is the 13th card in the Pentacle family and the 76th card in the Tarot deck. And that's a no to me. With the Page of Swords, this is the 60th card in the Tarot deck, the 11th card in the Sword family. And this is a maybe. With the High Priestess coming in, this is the 5th card again. And that's a yes. With the Hierophant, that's a no. And that's the ninth card in the Tarot card family in the Major Arcana. The 14th card is in the Major Arcana, and that's a yes. The third card in the Swords family, this is the 52nd card in the Tarot deck, and that's a no card. The ninth card in the Sword family, and that is a no to me, and that's the 58th card in the Tarot deck. The King of Fire is showing up here, and that's the 14th card in the Wands family, and the 35th card in the Tarot deck, and that's a yes. And the Five of Water shows up here. With the Five of Water, that is the 40th card in the Tarot deck, and the 5th card in the Water family, and that's a no. So if you ask a question when I do this, your answer is going to be a no on the question that you asked. Seven. Seven is a spiritual number. Spirit wants us to concentrate on loving ourselves more than concentrating on if this person's coming back to us or not, guys. Love ourselves first, and that right person comes in. Stay tuned to the end of this video so that you can get your bonus link of this message. Hey guys, I forgot to pull the hair fit card. Bonus message. So we're going to be pulling the hair fit card bonus message. We'll end the message here. Spirit guides, angels, and divine, what's the hair fit message you have? For, what's the hair fit message you have for everybody watching this? Okay, you guys got two messages. Whoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and my sister and mother. Matthew 12, 50. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. I hope you guys enjoyed the spiritual message that the divine is strongly trying to tell us that we need to focus more on him so that we can have a better outcome in our future and have a much happier, peaceful state of mind. Always remember, guys, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.